So in this NBA trade rumors video, I want to talk about five San Antonio Spurs trades that could happen in 2023 in my personal opinion. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video and let's get right into it. So the first San Antonio Spurs trade that I think could happen in 2023 is RJ Barrett of the New York Knicks. Now, RJ Barrett's a pretty talented player, but I really do think that the New York Knicks are going to be looking to add a second star player to surround Jalen Brunson with. And I think RJ Barrett might be that trade bait that gets them that exact player. Now, uh, could they be getting that exact player from the uh, San Antonio Spurs? I would say probably not, but I think given the age range uh, of the Spurs roster and then drafting Victor Webb and Yama uh, with the first overall pick this 2023 NBA draft. I think adding a player like RJ Barrett might not be a terrible idea for the Spurs to consider to surround R R to surround uh, Victor with some more talented players sort of around his age. Um, RJ Barrett, of course, I do believe uh, is just 22 years old. Now I think he's going to be 23 years old uh, in a couple days now. So uh, for a player that's, you know, only 23 years old and for a player like Victor Wembanyama, I was going to be entering the league in his first year next year. RJ Barrett fits the timeline for the Spurs team also too. Uh, the Spurs have the draft capital to make a trade to the Knicks. Uh, they they also do have some other players on the roster as well they could package to give the Knicks uh, maybe some more depth if they want if they want to give them some more draft capital which then the Knicks could flip uh, into that star player that could be a possibility there as well now RJ Barrett had a pretty solid year last year in 2022-23 uh, in 73 games played he had 19.6 points five rebounds and 2.8 assists per game uh, and had pretty solid averages from the free throw line uh, in, in the field as well so overall uh, a pretty solid year for RJ Barrett a player that is slowly getting better uh, turning into around a 20 point per game plus score in the NBA uh, so not a bad player there I think also too for RJ Barrett he's probably going to be best utilized in a situation where he's not going to be the go-to guy moving forward so I think in New York right now uh, with the emergence of Jalen Brunson into a superstar RJ Barrett sort of considered to be the number two option on this team offensively especially to with Julius Randle uh, not really putting together a very awesome playoff run this past year as well as RJ Barrett as well uh, I think they want a little bit more out of their second guy so I think RJ Barrett could be a player that's on the market if they get if they can get back a star player in return uh, I don't think RJ Barrett is untouchable by any means and, I, and as I mentioned before or if you are a team like the San Antonio Spurs, adding a player like RJ Barrett to be a player that can surround uh, some more depth with Victor Webb and Yama be another option offensively for this team. And also too, and more importantly, he fits the age range of this team and they have the cap space, uh, the cap space uh, to take on his contract. So I think at this point, RJ Barrett going to the Spurs makes a ton of sense. Uh, and then that's the number one trade on this list, in my opinion. The next San Antonio Spurs trade that could happen in 2023 is Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. Now, if the Spurs want to go ahead and get a star player, someone that's one of the better shooters in basketball, Trey Young checks both of those boxes, right? Trey Young's a player that this past year in Atlanta was a little bit turbulent for him. So uh, I know uh, stats wise, he had a pretty awesome season uh, last year in 2022-23. Uh, he averaged 26.2 points per game, three rebounds per game, and actually did have 10.2 assists as well. So uh, having a double double year for Trey Young, he's one of the better uh, perimeter scorers in basketball. A player that will be 25 years old uh, this upcoming season there's still lots of potential left for Trey Young uh, to be one of the better players in basketball if he already isn't that or if he already isn't considered that already now uh, Trey Young's a player that last year in Atlanta it was a bit of a tough year for him and the Hawks right they took sort of a big time step back from years prior uh, missing the playoffs completely so you know, Trey Young's a player that could definitely be on the move, uh, especially too if the Hawks want to go into a bit of a rebuild and get back some draft capital and maybe some younger talent uh, to uh, get rid of uh, Trey Young in the process. That could be a possibility, right? If you are a team with the San Antonio Spurs, uh, maybe you package up some players like uh, Trey Jones. Maybe it's, uh, you know, it's a Keldon Johnson, whatever the case may be, uh, some draft capital as well to really surround uh, Victor Webb and Yama uh, with a superstar player for next year, having a sort of a pick and roll duo uh, with Trey Young and Victor. Victor Wembenyama. Uh, that could be a pretty awesome pairing in the future. And I think at this point, uh, you know, how the Spurs have so much cap space to work with, they could take on a player like Trey Young, also to sign some other players in free agency and sort of build around a duo of Trey Young uh, and Victor Wembenyama for the foreseeable future. So I actually think San Antonio uh, going after Trey Young or a player of Trey Young's caliber, uh, sort of a younger talent, you know, heading into a second contract uh, that's making a lot of money that might need a change of scenery based on how his team has performed the last couple of years. Uh, the Hawks are sort of heading towards a bit of a downward spiral, in my opinion. So I think uh, for them, making a big time change, uh, like Trey Young, for example, 
could be a proper move also too if you're Trey Young. Uh, going to Greg Popovich's system might actually get the most out of you as more of a complete player. Uh, as of right now, Trey Young's a bit of an empty calorie guy uh, in regards to his stats, right? You know, sort of putting up some pretty good stats on not very good teams. So I think Trey Young going to San Antonio, uh, playing alongside Victor Wimp and Yama, it could be the best thing for him in the long run. So I think at number two, uh, it's going to be Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. The next San Antonio Spurs trade that I think could happen in 2023 is Austin Reeves of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Austin Reeves is a player that it's going to be pretty fascinating to see what happens this offseason with him uh, actually becoming an RFA. Uh, could this guy be getting a big time offer sheet from somewhere else? He probably could. Now, uh, it was reported as well that the Los Angeles Lakers are wanting to match and are going to match uh, whatever contract is thrown Austin Reeves this way. So for, uh, you know, perhaps uh, if a team offers him a four year contract for $100 million, uh, the Lakers made it pretty clear to teams that they want to go ahead and match it no matter what. But I think at this point, uh, and just logistically speaking, it might actually be not that easy to make happen. Now, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers can easily match whatever contract, but to what cost, right? They're going to have to trade some other players uh, to fit in uh, Austin Reeves financially if he's going to be making north of $25 million per year, which at this point he probably will. So I actually think if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, if you can get back something for Austin Reeves in a sign and trade somewhere else, perhaps a team like San Antonio uh, that have the cap space and have the assets to, uh, the assets to send back uh, Los Angeles' way, it could actually maybe be the best thing for this franchise moving forward. So if you are the Spurs and you want to take on a player like Austin Reeves and you really believe in this guy uh, to be a, uh, you know, a focal point of this franchise moving forward, it's obviously a big risk, right? Because relatively speaking, Austin Reeves is still a relatively unproven player, right? There hasn't been a, a super big sample size uh, in regards to watching this kid play at a high level. But uh, as what we saw this past uh, season from Austin Reeves, he's a phenomenal player and definitely going to be in line for a contract probably north of 25 to 30 million million dollars per year which seems a little bit insane to me but if you are the spurs you have the cap space so why not take a take a big time splash on a player like austin reeves you know i believe he's only 25 years old if i'm not mistaken um i'll check that right now actually yeah, Austin Reeves, uh, just 25 years old, so still a uh, lots of potential left in the, uh, in his career to be a superstar player if he's not already considered that. Uh, last year in 2022, the stats aren't amazing, but he's a pretty talented player getting better each and every year, right? Uh, last year, he averaged 13 points per game, three rebounds per game, and 3.4 assists per game, uh, shot just under 40% from the, uh, from the from from beyond the arc, 52.9% uh, from the field, and overall, just overall a pretty awesome year from Austin Reeves. So I think if you're the Spurs, uh, this could be a nice opportunity for them to get a big time player uh, that's getting better each and every year and perhaps maybe a change of scenery for him and a more increased role in the offense that, that he would probably have in San Antonio uh, compared to what he has so far in Los Angeles. It could be a pretty awesome thing for Austin Reeves. So I think at number three, uh, the number three player that I think the Spurs could trade for is Austin Reeves of the Los Angeles Lakers. The next San Antonio Spurs trade that I think could happen in 2023 is Mikhail Bridges of the Brooklyn Nets. Now, Sort of like the Lakers and Austin Reeves, the Nets have made it pretty clear to people out there and on social media that uh, they want to go ahead and not trade Mikhail Bridges no matter what the speculation is regarding him. So there's been a lot of trade rumors this offseason regarding Mikhail Bridges that I've seen so far. You know, I've been a part of them as well, uh, really buying in that the uh, I do believe that the Brooklyn Nets might consider a Mikhail Bridges trade um, after his value from you know how he performed last year since the Kevin Durant trade is pretty much at an all time high, right? Ever since Mikhail Bridges got traded uh, to the Brooklyn Nets, he's really emerged into a legitimate superstar in this league. I had a phenomenal year last year in 2022-23. And as I mentioned before, his value is at an all-time high on the trade market. So last year in 2022-23, um, Mikhail Bridges appeared in 83 games played. So pretty impressive there, uh, appearing in more uh, games played than anyone else, obviously due to that trade um, that happened earlier this season. Uh, 20.1 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, 3.3 assists per game, and overall uh, some pretty solid percentages from the field and the foul line. Now, um, Mikhail Bridges as well, which is not mentioned in these stats, um, is his defensive presence. He's one of the better defensive players in all of basketball, uh, being named to the all-defensive team last year in 2021-22. He's a phenomenal defender, so a player that can play both ends of the floor extremely well. Uh, I think if you are a team like the uh, San Antonio Spurs, you have the draft capital. Uh, you have some other young players as well that you could perhaps package any trade uh, for Mikhail. Caleb Bridges, if you really want to pair Victor Wembenyama uh, with a superstar talent that can be a nice player uh, that can actually probably play well in a great crop uh, in a Greg Popovich system. I think Mikhail Bridges checks that exact box and, and would be a phenomenal player, right? A player that's getting better each and every year. Uh, proved to us last year that he can be a focal point of a team offensively. I think if he were to go to the Spurs, uh, he would eventually turn into more of a number two guy, which in you know, in my personal opinion, is probably the best thing for his career in the long run. So I think Mikhail Bridges right now uh, would garner back a ton of interest in a ton of uh you know 
uh, capital and a ton of you know assets on the trade market. So I think if you are a team like the Brooklyn Nets, I know you want to say that you want to keep them and you want to obviously keep your cards close to your chest because you don't want his value to diminish because you're actively shopping or anything like that. But I think if you are the Brooklyn Nets, uh, I would call up the Spurs personally, give them a pretty awesome trade package uh, that the Spurs would obviously not be able to you know shut shoot down because they're getting the best player in this trade in Mikael Bridges. And if you are the uh, Brooklyn Nets, get back draft capital, get back young players, get back some veterans also, and sort of go through the process that way and sort of having a Utah Jazz approach and getting a lot of solid players to hopefully build up their value and trade them for more down the road. So I think if you are the Spurs, uh, the idea of getting Mikael Bridges would be pretty enticing. I'm not 100% sure though if the Brooklyn Nets actually will want to trade him at some point, but if, but if they do, the Spurs have to be at the top of the list in regards to potential destinations for him. So uh, the number four player is Mikael Bridges of the Los, or sorry, of the Brooklyn Nets. The next San Antonio Spurs trade that could happen in 2023 is Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls. Now, out of all the players mentioned on this list, I think Zach Levine is probably uh, maybe RJ Barrett as well, the player that I think would be the easiest to get in a trade if you are the San Antonio Spurs. Zach Levine, of course, a pretty talented player. You know, nothing to take away from the guy. He's a pretty talented basketball player. But in regards to his contract, in regards to what he actually produces out there on the basketball court and the impact he has on his team in regards to winning, it's probably an overpayment and therefore considered to be, you know, a bad contract for Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls. I think if you are the Bulls uh, and all signs point towards them re-signing Nikola Vucevic, uh, I think someone like DeMar DeRozan or Zach Levine could probably be on their way out uh, to sort of give the Bulls a bit of a change of scenery and also to move off some money. Uh, more importantly, because, you know, Zach Levine and uh, DeMar DeRozan are making quite a bit of money for next year. So I think if you're Zach Levine, you know, Expecting a trade this offseason might be probably in the cards. Uh, I think if you are the Spurs and you want to take on a player that has a lot of um, cap hit, so he's a pretty expensive player, but his market value is probably not going to be as high as some of the other players that I mentioned on this list. I think it might be worth the risk. Now, uh, I think if you are the Spurs, you really want to utilize your cap space to your advantage. So I think if you're taking on a player like uh, Zach Levine uh, in his contract, you probably want to be sending a bad contract or so uh, the Bulls way, uh, maybe even an expiring contract, whatever the case may be. But regardless, I sort of want to move money around yourself just so you that you're not uh, i guess putting all your eggs in the zach levine basket and, and sort of limiting yourself in free agency so i think at this point uh, zach levine going to the spurs could actually be a pretty cool fit uh, and i think at the end of the day it's probably not a terrible trade idea uh, if you are the bulls to explore what you can get for zach levine if you're able to move off of his contract and get back some pretty solid value in return you have to at least consider it so the number five player is zach levine of the chicago bulls so that is going to be it for this video those are just five san antonio spurs trades that could happen in 2023 in my personal opinion as always leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one